Hey everyone, today, in the spirit of creativity and a bit of friendly competition, Mikey and I, along with our families, are going to build a ship. Absolutely true. We've decided to settle the age-old debate of who's the pro and who's the noob by leaving it to the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, this is the honest truth. We will find out which of us is a pro and which of us is a noob. This will all be decided by the Wheel of Fortune. To the hangers, everyone! Let the shipbuilding challenge begin! Time to unleash our creativity and see who can build the most impressive ship. May the Wheel of Fortune guide us and let the best ship win! As we enter our hangars, the atmosphere is charged with creative energy. Tools clink, materials shuffle, and laughter ensues as we set to work on our shipbuilding projects. All right, mates, let's get this ship off the ground. I've got chests filled with resources, and we're setting sail on a pirate adventure, I exclaim, addressing my family and anyone following the shipbuilding journey. While I may not be well-versed in pirate films, I'm drawing inspiration from the iconic designs seen in movies and TV series. Drop your favorite pirate films in the comments. I'd love to hear your recommendations and maybe incorporate some of those vibes into our ship. The comment section starts buzzing with recommendations and anecdotes about beloved pirate movies. It seems like there are quite a few pirate enthusiasts out there. I appreciate the suggestions and I'll do my best to capture the essence of those legendary ships in our creation as the ship takes shape. I continue to engage with the audience seeking advice and input. Feel free to share your thoughts and ideas. After all, this ship isn't just mine. It's a collaborative effort with all of you. The shipbuilding process becomes a lively exchange of creativity and shared passion. I'm loving the community involvement in this project. Together, we're crafting a ship that embodies the spirit of high seas adventures. Keep those suggestions coming. Fantastic to hear you're enjoying the progress. I've got a practical design in mind for the ship, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. I share with the audience, excited about the collaborative aspect of the project. I'm thinking of adding a touch of uniqueness by incorporating some snowy elements. Not only will it save resources, but it'll also provide a distinctive flair. What do you all think? Any suggestions or ideas to enhance our shipbuilding adventure? The comments section lights up with diverse suggestions and encouragement. Snowy details sound intriguing. I'm all for creative additions. Maybe we can collectively brainstorm and come up with some unique features for the ship. It's all about making this project one of a kind. As the community engages with ideas, I continue to refine the ship design, integrating the feedback received. Your input is invaluable. Let's work together to build not just a ship, but a masterpiece. If you have any resource saving techniques or design suggestions, now's the time to share them. This ship is a canvas for our collective imagination. Enthusiastic comments pour in, filled with suggestions and excitement. I'm loving the collaboration. Your ideas are inspiring, and together we're creating something truly special. Keep those suggestions coming, and let's turn this ship into a symbol of our shared creativity. With a sense of camaraderie and shared vision, the shipbuilding project takes on new dimensions. Thanks for being a part of this, everyone. Our ship is not just a vessel. It's a reflection of our creativity and collaboration. Let's continue this journey together. All right, mates. Now it's time to focus on the top of the ship. I've got a practical idea in mind. We'll create a perimeter using fences. This way, we'll have a sturdy railing to prevent anyone from accidentally falling overboard. I explain, detailing the next steps of the shipbuilding process. I know pirates were known for getting into scuffles and occasionally going overboard, but fear not. We're a kind crew, and we're crafting a ship that's not only functional, but safe, too. No walking the plank here. As I begin constructing the railing, I continue. It's important for us to build ships that can withstand the test of time. Pirates might have had their reasons for ship breakages, but we're here to prove that we can build even better ships. Ones that last through all our adventures. And speaking of adventures, I haven't shared our important task yet. Stay tuned, I'll reveal it shortly. 
The community engages with excitement, offering suggestions and cheering on the construction progress. Your support and ideas are driving this shipbuilding adventure forward. Let's continue crafting a ship that's not only sturdy, but also a symbol of our shared creativity and kindness. Time to set sail, everyone. I'm working on the sail, and it's going to be the powerhouse of our ship, catching the wind and propelling us forward, I announce, updating the audience on the progress. As much as I'd love a high-tech engine, our budget and resources are limited, so we're going the traditional route. With the sail in place, we'll be able to navigate the high seas without a worry. And don't worry, I'll make sure to borrow some lighting from the hangar. It's all in the name of a well-lit voyage. As I continue crafting the sail, I share my excitement. I can already envision us cruising along, powered by the wind, steering with the wheel. It's all coming together quite nicely, and I'm genuinely thrilled with how our ship is shaping up. Thanks to all my subscribers for being part of this fantastic shipbuilding journey. Speaking of the wheel, I'll be installing it a little later, so stay tuned for that, I tease, keeping the audience engaged. I'm so pleased with our collaborative efforts. Building this ship together has been an incredible experience, and it's a testament to the power of community and shared creativity. The comment section fills with positivity and anticipation. I'm grateful for each and every one of you contributing to this project. Together, we're crafting more than just a ship. Excellent news, everyone. The ship is taking shape, and now it's time to work on the hold. We need a space to store all our essentials for the high seas adventure, I share with enthusiasm, updating the audience on the progress. With the hold in place, we'll be able to embark on our journey fully equipped and ready for whatever the sea throws at us. But that's not all. I'm planning to add a weapon later for a touch of cinematic drama. As I continue crafting the hold, I express my excitement. I'm getting closer to setting sail, and the anticipation is building. I want this ship to feel like it's straight out of the movies, with every detail capturing the essence of high seas adventures. And guess what? We're making it happen together. With each addition to the ship, the sense of achievement grows. We're almost there, mates. The hold is coming together, and soon we'll be ready to set sail on an unforgettable cinematic voyage. Your support and creativity are making this journey all the more special. Now let's talk about the weapon. I've got plans for a bit of swashbuckling action, but that's a surprise for later. All right, crew, exciting news. Our ship is getting armed. I'm installing weapons, and soon we'll be ready to navigate the high seas with style. Just need to make sure we pass those technical specifications when launching this beauty into the water, I announce, updating the audience on the latest developments. Now, about accidentally shooting. Fear not, I've got plans to set the perfect angle for these guns. We're not going to unintentionally fire off any sea battles just yet. As I continue with the weapon installation, I share my optimism. The guns are coming along nicely, and I'm confident we'll have everything set up for a seamless launch. We're making this pirate ship not just seaworthy, but ready for some cinematic action too. And guess what? I've got a few surprises up my sleeve to make this experience one of a kind. I want to make sure these guns shoot right where they need to go, enhancing the authenticity of our pirate ship. I'm putting my best pirate engineering skills to work here. Ahoy, shipmates! The time has come for the piece de resistance, the control point. I'm installing anchors at the stern and barrels for ample resource storage. After all, a pirate ship is only as good as the treasures it carries, and we'll need plenty of resources for our grand adventures, I announce, updating the audience on the shipbuilding progress. And speaking of anchors, they'll be strategically placed behind the captain so I can drop them at a moment's notice. We're shaping up for a fantastic voyage, and I can't wait to put our creation to the test. As I arrange the anchors and barrels, I share my excitement. Well, you see, I kind of went for a different approach. As a noob, I opted for a turtle instead. Taming it seemed like a good idea, and surprisingly, it worked out well. No disasters so far. No worries! Our ship is passing the tests with flying colors. 
but duty calls. There's someone stranded on an island, and that's exactly what we built this beauty for. Absolutely, my friend. Let's set sail and rescue that stranded soul. Our ship is up for the task, and I'm confident we can make a difference. I'm ready, Captain. Turtle, you keep up with us. We've got a rescue mission to handle. I need to hit all these goals so that I can learn how to manage the harvest on this ship. And then we will go to save the inhabitants who are stuck on a remote island. He needs help. It's good that we have two ships, Mikey and mine. It's good that I can help my friend. Yes, this is just wonderful. Together we can save him. Let's go there quickly. I hope everything will be fine and we will cope with this task together with you. You and I are best friends and we can rely on each other. I think that we can certainly save him. We will save him at any cost because he is our best friend. We won't even get him out of this island. Thank you so much for saving me. I truly appreciate it. Could you please take me to the port where these magnificent ships were built? Uh, of course! Taking you to the port is the least we can do. We've got two impressive ships ready to show off, and I'm sure you'll be just as impressed as we are. All right, crew. Set sail for the port. Our rescued friend deserves to see the craftsmanship that went into these ships, I command, steering the vessel in the direction of the port. Hang on tight, my friend! You're in for a treat! These ships are a work of art, the friend adds, guiding their turtle companion alongside the ship as they head towards the port. It's not every day we get to rescue someone and then show off our ships. Quite the eventful day on the high seas. Finally, we have arrived at the port, and now we can say goodbye to our subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. I really appreciate it. I'll go home and rest. There's no reason you're our best friend. We had to save you. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Let's go see what you've built there. What kind of ship you have there? You have just a wonderful ship. I really like it. Two hours later. Well, JJ, it's been a long day of traveling, but we finally arrived at the hotel. The night has fallen, and I must say, the city looks quite different under the starry sky. Good evening, gentlemen. How may I assist you today? Good evening. We'd like to book a room for the night, please. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Thank you, JJ and Mikey. JJ, I can't express how relieved I am to finally be in our hotel room. That was one exhausting day of travel. I hear you, Mikey. The thought of sinking into that bed is pure bliss right now. I don't think I've ever been this tired. Agreed, JJ. It feels like we've been on the move forever. But look at this room. It's so inviting. The soft lighting, the cozy ambiance. It's like a sanctuary. And that bed, Mikey. It looks like the comfiest thing in the world right now. I can already imagine myself drifting off into dreamland. You're right, Mikey. Let's take a moment to enjoy this view together. It's a perfect end to a long day. One eternity later. JJ, wake up! It's morning and we overslept. Breakfast is already underway and we don't want to miss it. Groggily, huh? What? Morning already? Oh no, we overslept? I can't believe it. I know. It's surprising how comfy this bed is. But we can't let the delicious breakfast slip through our fingers. Come on, let's get ready quickly. Scrambling out of bed? You're right, Mikey. I can't resist the thought of a hearty breakfast. I'm going to wash up and get dressed in a flash. Hurry, JJ. We need to make up for lost time. I don't want to miss out on those freshly baked pastries and aromatic coffee. Rushing to get ready, I'm with you, Mikey. I can almost taste the croissants already. Thanks for waking me up in time. No problem, JJ. Breakfast is a serious matter. Now, let's grab a quick shower and head down to the dining area. We'll make the most of this morning. JJ, look at the crowded breakfast area. It's jam-packed. I don't think we'll find a table anytime soon. You're right, Mikey. It seems like everyone had the same idea about breakfast. This could take a while. Well, since we have some time to spare, how about we hit the pool instead? A morning swim sounds like a great way to start the day. That's a fantastic idea, Mikey. A refreshing dip in the pool will wake us up and give us a chance to relax before we continue our day. JJ, now that we've had a refreshing swim, how about we head to the bar for a nice morning beverage? Sounds like a plan, Mikey. A morning drink would be the perfect way to continue our day. Let's check out the bar. Excuse me, could we get a couple of morning drinks, please? I'm sorry, gentlemen, but we've run out of morning beverages. It seems we've had quite the rush this morning. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Is there anything else available? JJ, look over there! It seems a child is approaching us, and they seem eager to show us something. 
That's interesting, Mikey. Let's see what they have in store for us. Hello, Mr. and Miss. I found something cool. Do you want to see? That's very generous of you. We'll treasure this seashell as a wonderful memory of our unexpected encounter. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. It's made our day even more special. It's the unexpected moments like these that make traveling so memorable. A few moments later... JJ, this is getting a bit strange. The child led us to what appears to be a basement. What do you think this place is? I'm not sure, Mikey, but it does seem a bit unusual. Let's be cautious and see what's going on down here. Follow me. There's something amazing to show you. JJ, this is not what I expected at all. It looks like we've been led into some sort of laboratory, and it seems that other guests have been locked in here as well. This is getting really bizarre, Mikey. Why would the child bring us to a place like this? JJ, I think we've just walked into something incredibly dangerous. This looks like a laboratory operated by Herobrine, and the child might be under their influence. Mikey, we need to be careful. Herobrine is known for causing chaos and destruction. Let's try to find a way out without alerting anyone. Your world will fall, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. JJ, this just got even more intense. Herobrine has arrived, and it seems like it wants to take over the world. We have to figure out a way to stop it. Mikey, we can't let Herobrine succeed in its plans, but we need to be careful. It's incredibly powerful. Let's see if we can reason with it. Herobrine, we don't want any trouble. We just want to leave peacefully and go about our day. JJ, it's come to this. We have to confront Herobrine in its lair and put an end to its evil plans. Mikey, we can't let Herobrine's reign of terror continue. It's time to gather our strength and take it down. There it is, JJ, Herobrine's lair. We have to be quick and decisive. Mikey! Mikey, where are you? This is getting seriously unnerving. One moment we were battling Herobrine, and now he's gone. And this room, it's like a maze of shadows and mysteries. I can't just stand here. I have to find Mikey. He's my friend. A few moments later... JJ, we've come too far to turn back now. It's time to confront Herobrine and put an end to its reign of terror once and for all. You're absolutely right, Mikey. We can't let fear hold us back. Our world is counting on us to stop Herobrine. Remember our plan, JJ. We need to work together, stay focused, and watch each other's backs. I've got your back, Mikey. We've trained for this moment, and we won't let Herobrine's malevolence stand in our way. You won't terrorize our world any longer, Herobrine! We're here to end your tyranny! JJ, we did it! We actually did it! Herobrine is no more, and our world is safe! I can hardly believe it, Mikey. All our training and determination paid off. We've saved our world from the brink of destruction. JJ, now that Herobrine is defeated, it's time to undo the damage it caused and release the innocent people it captured. You're right, Mikey. Let's go and set them free. They've been through a lot, and it's the least we can do to help them. You're safe now. Herobrine's reign of terror is over, and you're free to go back to your lives. Thank you so much for saving us. We thought we were done for. Mikey, we didn't just save the world today. We also brought hope and freedom to these individuals. It's a reminder of the good we can do when we stand up against evil. You're absolutely right, JJ. Our journey was about more than just defeating Herobrine. It was about protecting the innocent and ensuring a brighter future for all. JJ, now that we've freed the captured individuals and defeated Herobrine, it's crucial to ensure that it never returns. Let's take action to secure this place. You're right, Mikey. We can't risk Herobrine's resurgence. Let's seal this chamber once and for all. We'll block off all access points, strengthen the walls, and ensure that this place remains impenetrable. JJ, it seems our actions have brought about a significant change. With Herobrine defeated and the chamber sealed, it looks like Skibbity Toilet has taken over this place. Skibbity Toilet? That's unexpected. I guess it's better to have something less malevolent in Herobrine's place. Well, at least it's a more amusing sight than what it used to be. Skibidi Toilet certainly brings a different vibe. It's a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there can be unexpected and positive changes. Our world is full of surprises, Mikey. One eternity later. JJ, it's truly remarkable. We faced Herobrine's terror, defeated it, and now Skibidi Toilet has taken over. Our world is safe, and it seems Skibbity Toilet won't be causing any harm. We've not only saved the world, but we've also brought a touch of humor to it. Skibbity Toilet is an unexpected twist, but at least it's harmless fun. 
Our journey has been filled with challenges and surprises, but it's also shown us the resilience of our world and the power of friendship. One day later. Well, let's not keep our families waiting any longer. Are you ready to give the wheel a spin and see who the lucky builders are today? Absolutely. I've got the wheel right here, and it's ready to go. Whether we're experts or beginners, the joy of building together and creating something memorable will be our ultimate reward. Let's make this steam locomotive a symbol of unity and shared accomplishment. And the wheel is turning. Who will it be? A seasoned builder or someone trying their hand at it for the first time? It's slowing down, and it looks like it's landing on the noob level. Looks like we'll have some beginners joining us in this steam locomotive adventure. That's the spirit. Remember, the materials might be different, but the essence of our project is unity and collaboration. Each material brings its unique strengths to the table. Diamond and gold blocks will make for a sturdy and glamorous locomotive, while wood and earth will give it a rustic charm. Don't cry, please, everything will be fine. Together we will cope with all the difficulties that we will have on your way. Let's disperse and start building. You're right. I shouldn't let the initial challenge get to me. I'm ready to embrace this experience and contribute in any way I can. Let's disperse. Great attitude. Remember, we're here to support each other. Now we are all going to our own territories and starting to build our own because we have to build two trains, which we will then compare with each other. So, my friends, as I embark on constructing the foundation, let's delve into the heart of this train, the wheels and the essential presence of cars. In my vision, simplicity is key. And thus, I plan to have just two cars, one equipped with a control point and the other designed exclusively for passengers. This streamlined design not only ensures efficiency, but also facilitates ease of travel on the ubiquitous ordinary railways found everywhere. The control car will serve as the nerve center where I can oversee and manage the operation of the train. Look, I have finished building one carriage. All that remains is to make its walls and trim it a little because I cannot find the center of this carriage. It seems that something is wrong here, but it's okay. Everything will work out for you and me, friends. We've faced challenges before, and each time we've found solutions, it's just a matter of taking a step back, assessing the situation, and figuring out where the issue lies. As we tackle the walls and trim, let's approach it methodically. Hey, before you call your friend over, let's reconsider the idea of setting up a trap. It's essential to prioritize safety and avoid causing harm or discomfort to others. Pranks can sometimes have unintended consequences and it's crucial to ensure that everyone involved is on board and will find it amusing rather than upsetting. My friend, would you like to see what I have already built? I am waiting for you at the base. Come to me quickly and find out what I have built. Why did you do this? Why did you put me in a trap? But knowing that now look back, I will catch you in everything. Apologize if my responses have caused any confusion or discomfort. One eternity later. What are you doing here? Why did you come to me? Well, okay, I won't pay attention to you. Despite the lingering suspicion that he may have ulterior motives, my confidence in the sturdiness of my wooden house and the invincibility of my trusty locomotive remains unshaken. We've been through thick and thin together, and I can't fathom any reason for him to pose a threat to our long-standing friendship. Decide to confront him, my best friend. Now this is revenge for the fact that you threw me into my seven and me into your hole with water. I set your locomotive on fire. Shocked and dismayed, I stare at my best friend, unable to comprehend the sudden turn of events. The news of my beloved locomotive set ablaze feels like a punch to the gut. This is all because you punked me. I'm going back to my room, goodbye. Results again, there was only one left. Now they will complete the construction of their locomotive to make it as cool as possible. Glass is an indispensable tool that allows those traveling on my train to look around and see the sights of the cities they travel to. It's just wonderful. I have always dreamed so well that I have the opportunity to make my own dream locomotive. Now, with the determination to rebuild and improve, I gather the remnants of my once charred locomotive. My friend's act of revenge may have left a scar, but it won't crush my spirit. 
As the sparks of resilience ignite within, I decide to turn this setback into an opportunity to create an even more magnificent dream locomotive. Let's do one more unusual experiment. I'll make the same trap as me before entering. Then can he get caught again by digging a hole and placing invisible blocks? Will he be able to fall through there or not? Let's do one more unusual experiment. I'll make the same trap as me before entering. Then can he get caught again by digging a hole and placing invisible blocks? What did you come up with again? Are you trying to trap me again? All this was in vain. Now I'll break your locomotive and it will no longer boil. My friend, however, seems resolute in their decision. It's too late for talk. This is the consequence. Maybe now you'll understand how it feels to have something important damaged. There's no turning back now. I'm very upset with you. You didn't live up to my expectations. Goodbye. Friends, it seems our locomotive has suffered a considerable setback, I sigh, gesturing towards the damaged structure. But fear not, we'll rebuild it together. Thankfully, being made of wood makes the restoration process more manageable. And now, to make our locomotive passenger ready, we'll need to install some seats, I announce, grabbing a stack of chairs. Let's create a comfortable and welcoming space for our future passengers to enjoy the journey. And, of course, the second carriage could include restroom facilities, I add, reflecting on practical considerations. It's a crucial part of any long journey, providing convenience for both passengers and crew. As the reconstruction of the locomotive progresses, I decide to focus on the finishing touches that will make our wooden train not only functional, but also aesthetically pleasing. The idea of surprising my friend with a prank adds a playful twist to the restoration process. Before we install the steering wheel, let's work on the roof of each carriage, I suggest to the group, emphasizing the importance of protection from the elements. I'm thinking of using a half-sided wood design to create a unique and charming look. It'll not only serve its practical purpose, but also give our train a distinctive character. As we begin crafting and fitting the roofs, the atmosphere is lively and a sense of anticipation fills the air. Meanwhile, I quietly share my prank idea with a few friends who are in on the surprise. Grinning mischievously, I decide to play along with my friend's unexpected move. All right, let's see how he reacts to the royal toilet surprise. I chuckle to myself as I carefully place the toilet in the middle of the train. Behold, the throne fit for a king of the toilet. Staring in disbelief at the unexpected addition, my friend raises an eyebrow. Why on earth would you put a toilet here? This isn't right, and I certainly didn't ask for a royal toilet in the middle of our train. Trying to keep the playful spirit alive, I respond with a reassuring smile. Don't worry, it's just a bit of fun. A cosmetic touch to your train that you didn't see coming. I thought you might enjoy the surprise. However, my friend seems unamused and insists. I really don't want a toilet here. It's not appropriate. With the roof completed, I turn my attention to the next crucial phase of the train's construction, creating the sleeping cars. Envisioning a train that offers both comfort and entertainment, I embark on the task of designing the sleeping quarters with a touch of uniqueness. All right, everyone, let's focus on the sleeping cars now, I announce to the group. We'll create cozy compartments where passengers can rest during our journeys. And who knows, maybe we'll even add a piano for some musical entertainment. I believe in providing the best experience for our passengers, I explained to my friends. A comfortable sleep is a priority, and having separate sleeping cars adds a touch of luxury to our train. Plus, it's part of my master plan for captaining this train. The construction of the sleeping cars begins with the rhythmic sounds of hammers and saws echoing through the workshop. As the compartments take shape, I can already picture the passengers enjoying a restful journey. Embracing the spirit of creativity and mischief, I seize the opportunity to play another prank on my friend as he diligently works on his part of the train. Excitement fuels my actions as I craft a false front, creating the illusion that my train is near completion. Friends, let's add the finishing touch to my train, I announce to the group, a mischievous glint in my eye. I'll make a mock front to surprise my friend. Carriages may take time, but pranks are instant. As I work on the faux front, I consider the perfect prank 
to entertain my friend. Perhaps a quirky design or an unexpected element that will catch him off guard and add a playful twist to our project. Everyone, let's take this surprise to my friend's side and see his reaction, I suggest, the anticipation building among the group. As I move on to the crucial task of installing wheel caps on the train, I emphasize the importance of this step to the group, highlighting the protective role they play in ensuring the longevity and efficiency of the wheels. Now, my friends, let's not overlook the significance of these wheel caps, I declare, holding up the caps for everyone to see. They're not just accessories, they serve a vital purpose in safeguarding our wheels from dust and dirt. The unexpected arrival of a tank adds a dramatic twist to the atmosphere as I climb into the driver's seat, ready to playfully wreak havoc on my friend's train. With a mischievous grin, I share the plan with the group, emphasizing the lighthearted nature of the prank. All right, friends, it's time for a surprise that no one saw coming, I announce, gesturing toward the tank. I've got this tank here, and I'm going to have a little fun with my friend's train. Don't worry, it's all in good spirits, and I won't cause any serious harm. Climbing into the tank, I maneuver it toward my friend's train, the anticipation building among the onlookers. As I approach the train, I can't help but revel in the impending surprise. What is it? Why did you bring this tank here? You don't mean to say that you want to destroy the steam locomotive. What are you up to now? A playful smile forming as the tank stops near train. I hope you're not planning anything too drastic. Why did you do this? Do you know how much time you spent building it for your family? As the group looks on, curiosity and amusement fill the air. I watch attentively as my friend carefully manipulates the tank. All right, let's make it interesting. How about a quick interview? I suggest, grabbing a microphone and approaching my friend. With a playful smirk, my friend takes the microphone and begins, well, you know, I thought the tank would add a fun twist to our construction day. It was all in good spirits, and I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. The surprise factor is key to keeping things lively, don't you think? All right, everyone, gather around. I'm excited to give you a tour of my train, my friend announces, a proud smile on their face. We've got headlights, engines, and some surprises in the cockpit. Let me show you around. Impressive setup you've got here, I comment, joining the group for the tour. But, you know, my locomotive might not have all the bells and whistles, but it's got a unique feature. It can double as a bunker. Safety first, right? Come on, let's see what you've got in that cockpit, I encourage. Wow, you are a very cool locomotive, too. Look how many carriages you have here. I'm very glad that you were able to build such a cool locomotive. You even have sleeping places and music you can play on the piano. Ah, uh, the friendly banner continues. Well, my friend, I may not have splurged on a sea of resources, but I believe in simplicity and efficiency. My locomotive might not have all the extravagant features, but it's sturdy, reliable, and as I mentioned earlier, doubles as a bunker. Who needs bells and whistles when you have practicality, right? Laughter ripples through the group as we playfully compare the merits of each locomotive. The camaraderie and shared joy in the construction process overshadow any notions of one being better than the other. Absolutely, my friend. The reviews of our locomotives have been quite the adventure, I agree, appreciating the playful spirit. And hey, those two waves of toilets do add a unique touch. A train with a built-in restroom. Now that's innovative. Zombies attacking planets? Well, that escalated quickly, I chuckle, appreciating the sudden shift in scenario. All right, let's get our families to safety. I'll make sure the bunker in my locomotive is well prepared. We'll hold the fort and protect everyone. As we hastily gather our families and make our way to the wooden trains, the atmosphere becomes a mix of urgency and excitement. Into the bunkers, everyone. We've got weapons on board, and we'll defend against the zombie invasion from there, I announce, ushering everyone into the protective compartments. Please forgive me, but it looks like I killed your wife. Because you killed my wife, I will kill you. 